healthcare providers hard hit by a recent cyber attack received some financial relief today. But as Jatira Marsh explains, it's only a short term fix. And she spoke to a local cybersecurity expert who offered some advice. Jatira. That's right, Teresa. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer explained how this cyber attack targeted a major company called Change Healthcare, which has had a ripple effect on hospitals all throughout the state of New York, in particular the smaller rural, hos smaller rural hospitals that rely on the company to process medical payments. With the system down, it meant that so many hospitals across upstate New York um, weren't going to get paid uh, they, because this system was attacked. Cybersecurity founder and CEO of Tempest Network, Paul Robinson, says he and his wife were impacted when they went to pick up a prescription and were told they didn't have medical insurance when they in fact did. Then one of our prescriptions was like 500% more than what we would normally pay for it. Um, and I knew that this was an, uh, a, uh, you know, a subset and an issue that happened because of the, the incident that happened. Robinson believes this is a result of individuals looking to cause harm to innocent people. There are organizations and uh, there are entities abroad uh, that want to disrupt our, our daily lives here uh, in the States uh, any way that they can. And uh, one of the methods that you can do that is through cybersecurity. His advice? Making sure that, you know, you're taking necessary precautions that in the event, you know, with with medication, you know, maybe you get a 90 day prescription instead of a 30 day prescription, um, you know, making sure that, you know, maybe you have an extra gallon or two of water, you know, you have your generator going and things like that. According to Schumer, federal health agencies have agreed to reimburse hospitals and pharmacies impacted by providing an advance until the backlog is fixed and they're once again getting reimbursed from the insurance companies. Teresa, back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you. Senator Schumer also says he's asked the FBI to make this case a top priority.